Welcome back ladies and gents. In this teaching video I'm looking at 2.4 variance and standard deviation. 2.4 reps in chapter 2 section 4 of the person A level maths applied maths year 1 textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. Firstly what does the variance and standard deviation measure? The variance and standard deviation of a statistical data measures the average spread of the data values from its mean value. Here is a diagram. The x represents the mean value, the dot represents the data value. I'll come back to this diagram shortly. Now, the variance is a square measure. The standard deviation, on the other hand, is the square root of the variance. Let's go back to this diagram and truly understand variance and standard deviation of a statistical data. Okay, so over here we have one, two, three, four, five, six different data values. Here is the first spread of the data value from the mean. Here is the second spread, third spread, fourth spread, fifth spread, sixth spread. Now, if I take each spread and I square it and then calculate the average, this leads on to something called the variance. Hence, variance is a square measure. But if I take each spread and calculate the average directly, this leads on to something called the standard deviation. And that's why the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. Now, we have two different data sets. We've got raw data and we've got frequency table data. We can calculate the variance and standard deviation from a raw data or from a frequency table data. Let's start off with raw data. Variance is denoted by sigma little x squared. It is equal to sum of x squared divided by n minus the square of sum of x divided by n. The standard deviation is denoted by sigma little x. It is equal to the square root of the variance, as you can see. Let's move on to frequency table data. Now the formula gets modified slightly. We are dealing with frequencies. The variance denoted by sigma little x squared is equal to sum of fx squared divided by sum of f minus the square of sum of fx divided by sum of f. The standard deviation denoted by sigma little x is therefore the square root of the variance. Now the sum of frequency technically represents the sample size n. So these are all the key facts for 2.4 variance and standard deviation. I'll be implementing these key facts to exam style questions. Now ladies and gents, it might be worth mentioning that the variance and standard deviation can be written in this form over here. So in the exam they could give you the s little x little x which is called the summary statistic and then they could ask you to calculate the variance and standard deviation. So this is the formula that we have to use in that scenario. Here is exam style question 1. 8 students heights 8 centimeter are measured. They are as follows. Part A, work out the mean height of the students. So in this question, the variable used is h, the mean is denoted by h bar. So h bar is equal sum of h divided by n. h bar equal, you add up the heights. So if we add up the heights, we get 1425 divided by the sample size, which is 8. We can now put this into our calculator and round off to three significant figures. So we get 178 to three significant figures. In part B, given that the sum of h squared is equal to 254,307, work out the variance. Okay, so the variance is denoted by sigma little h squared equal. The formula is the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. Okay, so let's substitute the values in. We know that this over here, sum of h squared, is 254,307 divided by the sample size 8 minus sum of h is 1,425 divided by the sample size 8, and we square that. Okay, so we can put this into our calculator and then round off to three significant figures. Okay, so if we round to three significant figures, we get 59.9. Part C, work out the standard deviation. So we know that the standard deviation is denoted by sigma little h. It is the square root of the variance. So here is my exact variance. 254, 307, over 8 minus the square of 1425 over 8. Okay, we're taking the square root of that, and that there, ladies and gents, will give us the standard deviation. So sigma 
little h is equal to 7.74 to three significant figures. Okay, so ladies and gents, that completes exam style question one. Here is exam style question two. In a student group, a record was kept of the number of days of absence each student had over one particular term. The results are shown in the table. So we've got number of days of absent and we've got frequency. Use your calculator to work out the standard deviation of the number of days absent. Suppose D represents day. So we have D representing day. The standard deviation is represented by sigma little d. It is equal to the square root of the variance. Now, ladies and gents, over here we have frequency table data. So we're going to be applying these formulas here. But instead of using x, I'm going to be using d because d represents day. Okay, so we have variance, which is sum of f d squared over sum of f minus the square of sum of f d over sum of f. In other words, we have the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. Okay, now in our calculator, sum of f d squared is represented by sum of x squared. Sum of f d is represented by sum of x. And finally, sum of f is represented by n, the sample size. So ladies and gents, I'm going to be using my calculator in order to calculate these quantities and then finally calculate the standard deviation of the number of days absent. Okay, so I can start by pressing menu, scroll down to number six, which is statistics, press equal, and then press number one, which is one variable. So I've got a table. I want to turn on the frequency, so I'll press shift, then menu, which is set up, scroll down to statistics which is number three so we can press number three and then to turn on the frequency we need to press number one okay so the x column represents the number of days absent so we've got zero to four i can input these values zero equal one equal two equal three equal four equal okay so now i can go to the frequency column and input the frequencies Okay, so the first frequency is 12, equal, second one is 20, equal, 10, equal, 7, equal, 5, equal. Then I press option, uh, number 3, one variable calculation. Okay, so over here we can see that sum of x squared is 203, sum of x is 81, and we have that the sample size n is 54. The standard deviation sigma x is 1.23 to three significant figures. Okay, so using our calculator, sum of fd squared is 203, sum of fd is 81, and sum of f is 54. Now I can substitute these values into the formula. Okay, so we have that the standard deviation, sigma little d, is equal square root um, 203 divided by 54 minus the square of 81 divided by 54. So if we put this into our calculator and round up to three significant figures, we get that the standard deviation is 1.23. Alternatively, we can just read off the standard deviation directly from the calculator, and if we round to three significant figures, we get 1.23. And that there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question two. Here is exam style question three. A certain type of machine contained a part that tended to wear out after different amounts of time. The time it took for 50 of the parts to wear out was recorded. The results are shown in the table below. So we've got lifetime, H, measured in hours, and we've got frequency, as you can see. Use your calculator to work out the standard deviation of the time taken for the part to wear out. In this question, the variable used is h, so the standard deviation is denoted by sigma little h. It is the square root of the variance. So the variance is sum of fh squared divided by sum of f minus the square of sum of fh divided by sum of f. In other words, the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. So, in our calculator, 
sum of fh squared is represented by sum of x squared. Sum of fh is represented by sum of x. And finally, sum of f is represented by m, the sample size. Now, because this over here represents group data, we're going to have to take the midpoint of each class interval. So now I'm going to show you how to use the calculator in order to find these three quantities and then the standard deviation. Okay, so we press menu, then we scroll down to number six, which is statistics, press equal, then number one, which is one variable. Okay, so over here, our frequency is not present. We can turn on the frequency, press shift, menu, which is set up, scroll down to number three, which is statistics. And then to turn on the frequency, we press number one. Okay, so the X column represents the lifetime H in hours. So we're going to take the midpoint of each class interval. So the midpoint of the first class interval is 7.5 equal. Second one is 12.5 equal. Then we have 17.5 equal 22.5 equal and 27.5 equal. Now we're going to go to the frequency column. The first frequency is 5 equal, then we have 14 equal, 23 equal, 6 equal, and finally 2 equal. Now we press the option button and then we press number 3, one variable calculation. So over here we see that sum of x squared is 14,062.5. Sum of x is 805, and if we scroll down, the sample size n is 50. Okay, the standard deviation will be 4.69 to three significant figures. Okay, so using our calculator, sum of f8 squared is equal to 14,062.5, sum of fh is equal to 805, and sum of f is equal to 50. Now I'm going to substitute these values into the standard deviation formula. So sigma little h is therefore equal to the square root of 14,062.5 divided by 50 minus the square of 805 divided by 50. So we can put this into our calculator and round off to three significant figures. So I get 4.69 to three significant figures. Or I can just directly read off the standard deviation from my calculator and then round off to three significant figures. So that there, ladies and gents, completes 2.4 variance and standard deviation. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post teaching videos.